Genetic resources for food and agriculture are really the stock of information that we rely upon to develop new varieties of plants in what is a race against nature, against climate change, and what requires us to innovate permanently to be ahead of what nature uh, brings upon us. To me, one key date was 1996, when the Commission on Genetic Resources for Food and Agriculture um, adopted this state of the world's uh, plant genetic resources for food and agriculture. And that was a major achievement because reaching far beyond governments, the Commission explained to a broad public opinion why genetic erosion was taking place, uh, why this was a problem, um, and the urgency to do something about the loss of um, genetic diversity and uh, biodiversity more generally. We need the Commission because biodiversity and particularly genetic diversity is a global public good. Uh, by this I mean that um, it is tempting of course for each nation to ignore the value of genetic diversity, of biodiversity, uh, but in the end all nations will benefit from us paying greater attention to this because this is the information stock on which we, we rely to develop new plant varieties and to avoid what some have called the tragedy of the commons in which each state free rides on the efforts of others to preserve uh, biodiversity, we need more international cooperation and we need um, the policies to be guided by better expert knowledge, the kind of knowledge that the Commission on Genetic Resources for Food and Agriculture can, can mobilize and convene. Well, without the Commission, the risk is that each government would focus on its own um, priorities and, and emergencies, and quite understandably so. Each government would try to boost um, its um, production, its uh, production of food crops for export or to feed the, the local population, but at the expense, in some cases, of resilience, of long-term food security, um, without taking into account the fact that diversity contributes to our long-term ability to feed a growing population in the face of new threats from nature and, and climate change. And without the Commission, uh, therefore, we would see a, a situation in which monocultures would, would continue to spread, um, genetic erosion would, would further develop, and ultimately our ability to respond to future threats would be diminished as a result. Um, I believe that agroecological ways of producing food, diverse complex farming systems that are a source of agrobiodiversity and that reward diversity um, may be um, extremely important uh, for the resilience of food systems, for the enhancement of agrobiodiversity, and maybe the Commission could showcase the value of this way of producing food, valuing diversity and replicating on, on the farm, at farm level, the natural um, um, cycles of nature and the complementarities that exist in nature between plants, trees and animals. And maybe um, moving towards the ecosystems more broadly um, would be um, interesting, linking the work of the Commission to uh, which direction farming should take. Well, it is, of course, extremely encouraging with the Commission on Genetic Resources for Food and, Ag and Agriculture to see that governments um, can move beyond their focus on the short term and on the immediate needs of their populations and work collaboratively for the um, greater common good, um, um, sh following what might be called their enlightened or broadened self-interest. Um, in this respect, one might say that the Commission is a model for future governance efforts at global level that try to build and, and protect um, and promote global public goods. 
And this is true also for food security. The Commission, for example, could be a model to be followed by the, um, the Committee on World Food Security that is also a collaborative effort across governments and international agencies to support food security that is considered a global public good. The Commission on Genetic Resources for Food and Agriculture shows how global public goods can be maintained and enhanced by governmental collaboration. And this is absolutely vital in the interdependent world that we are now in, in the 21st century. Future, resilience, insurance, sustainability, global commons, sharing.